Well, good morning, everyone. Now, as you've figured out by now, you know that I like to grow a lot of different flowers. Sometimes I plant them in the ground, but sometimes I love to do them in containers. And this one turned out really well this year. I love these bright green leaves against the dark purple leaves. I just think that looks pretty. And these flowers were some of the ones that I got in our flower fundraiser this year. And they have done fantastic. They have been producing flowers all summer and they're going to keep producing up until the first frost or freeze. So I really, really love this particular begonia. Now what kind of things does it take to have a healthy plant? What do you think? Well, we know it needs really good soil so that it can get the food that it needs. It needs water, it needs sunshine, and it needs a little tender loving care. What would happen if I would break off this little stem of flowers? What do you think is going to happen to this? I pretty much know that once it is disconnected from the plant, it's probably going to wither and die. There's no way that this can keep living without the food coming up through the stems. You know, this kind of reminds me of our Bible verse for today. And our verse is from the book of John, chapter 15, verse five. And Jesus is talking here and he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit because apart from me, you can do nothing. Now, sometimes I feel like Jesus spoke in riddles. Sometimes we have to really read those verses over and over to think, what is he trying to tell us? I mean, we know that Jesus is not a plant and we know that we are not branches and we know that we're not gonna produce fruit. But I think I can look at my flower and kind of get the idea. If we think about Jesus being the strong stem and the roots of the plant, and we are kind of like these smaller branches that are connected, we can keep producing beautiful flowers or beautiful fruit. But as we are separated, we really can do nothing. The stem on its own cannot do anything. So what kind of things do you think Jesus would want us to produce? What kind of fruit? Well, many of you brought fans to the church and we donated those to the Riverview International Center. I think that was the same as producing fruit. If you look in the August newsletter, there's a way that you can sign up for a virtual crop walk. You can donate to NEMAP. They have foods that they need, but they also need books and especially children's books. Maybe you could do that. That's a way to produce fruit. Camp Christian also has many needs and those are highlighted in the newsletter along with some little jobs that need to be done around the church. And you can all write cards, write letters, draw pictures, reach out to a neighbor. Those are the ways that we can keep producing fruit. Because apart from Jesus, we can do nothing. So how do we stay connected to Jesus? Well, one way is reading our Bible and learning about the stories that he tells in here. We can also worship even if it's virtually. Singing the hymns and listening to the sermons are a great way to stay connected. And absolutely, we can pray. 
which is really just talking to Jesus about anything that we want. So I wonder if you would join me in a prayer today. Dear Jesus, we know that without you, we can do nothing. We want to stay connected to you so we can help others know about God's love. Help us to be faithful in prayer, praise, and in studying your word. Thank you for loving us and using us to tell others about God. Amen. Now, I encourage you to get out in nature today. And I want you to get up close and personal with all of the plants. Look at the way that they grow. Look at the way that the stems and the branches come together. Get your magnifying glasses out and take a good look at the flowers. Or maybe go into a forest and take a hike. Look at the trees, the branches, the trunks, the leaves. Think about how it's all connected. And then step back and think about how you can stay connected to Jesus this week. I have, hope you do have a great week and I'll see you next Sunday.